Hey there, and welcome to the screencast about how to create a note card in Noodle Tools. So here I am back in my um, project here. Um, take a look at some of the previous videos in the series just to kind of see how I made this project um, and shared it out to get it to this point. Um, but I really want to go into note cards because your note cards are the heart and soul of your research project. It's where you are taking uh, evidence from the articles that you've uh, put into your Noodle Tools. Um, summarizing what's in them and then ultimately connecting them to your thesis or your argument or whatever your teacher is kind of asking you to do for your particular research project. So I want to jump into um, note cards. So when I come in here, uh, so I'm on sources, I click on note cards right there and you're going to see the screen kind of change. You'll have note cards at the top. Um, I have a couple of note cards already created. Um, I have one uh, right here that's kind of finished and I'll, I'll show you that. Um, and these other ones that I've started, but kind of didn't add anything to. Um, so if you want to make a note card, basically the big thing here is you click on new note card in the top right and a brand new note card is going to jump up and you have a couple of things to do. Um, you can title your note card. Sometimes your teacher will tell you what you want. Uh, they want the note cards to be titled. Sometimes it's just going to be, um, you know, whatever your organization system is. You can select any source that's currently in your list. And then you ultimately have a um, place to copy and paste evidence. Um, you have a place to summarize and you have a place uh, for your ideas to connect back to your thesis or your um, argument, whatever it is the project is uh, and your teacher's asking you to do. Um, so very simply, um, if I go here and let's say in my project, I have outlined that this is something that I want to kind of annotate and comment on and summarize and connect to my thesis. And I definitely want to store it. You can simply just copy it from the article and paste it in here. Um, it's from this source right there. And I'll just call this like uh, note card two. Number two. And now it's going to be up to me to paraphrase it or summarize it in my own words, what I think that says, and then do my connection here. Um, note cards are the only things that you have to save uh, in the Noodle Tools platform. Everything else will kind of do it on its own. So I save it and here you go. I can move them around and do a bunch of different things there. I'm going to go into this one here um, just because it's kind of like finished right here. So let me actually select the right source. I think it's this one. There we go. Um, so I have this quote here from Senator Amy Klobuchar. Um, I summarized it right here and you can pause the video to kind of like see the different, like and read this just to kind of see like an example or a model of it. Um, and then I have my connection down here um, that is, you know, going back to my uh, argument uh, question right here. Um, and then my actual like claim. Um, so this is what a finished note card will look like. I have my title, I have my source, I have my direct quotation, I have my summary, um, and then I have my my connection. This is something that does take a little bit of time to do. It's probably the most thought um, that you're gonna have to put into a lot of your research. And then by the time you're done, um, you pretty much have a great outline for your paper. Uh, you could always export all of these. Um, so if your teacher wanted you to export your note cards to Word, um, you can easily do that um, through this way and kind of get everything uh, set out in a Word document so that you can put it to a teen's assignment if your teacher is asking you um, to do something like this. And then they come up like this. So these are what note cards are. This is what they look like. This is how you make them. Um, and this is where they kind of live within the Noodle Tools platform. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, you can email me, you can Teams chat me, um, or just stop by the library and, and ask a question. All right, take care.